Hi guys! Alright, I am here ready to read to you the next picture book. Um, this picture book is called Robinson. This is a book that I got, um, I think it was up north in Marquette. We, I, my favorite thing to do when we travel is to go to small independent bookstores and find books. So this is the one that I picked up and I really like enjoy the illustrations and the story. So I hope you guys like it too. My friends and I love adventure. We play pirates all the time together. We rule the high seas illustrations and all the pictures are just really interesting and cool I thought. So when the school costume party is announced of course we know we will go as pirates. My mom has a different idea. Peter if you love adventure why don't you go as Robinson Crusoe she says. I want to be a pirate with my friends, I say. But Robinson Crusoe is the hero of your favorite story. Mom is right. He was a great adventurer and braver than all the pirates. Okay, I'll do it, I say. Mom gathers materials and I watch her get to work. When she puts all the pieces together, wow, I really do look like Robinson Crusoe. On the walk to school, I am bursting with excitement. What will my friends say? I can't wait for them to see me. Look at all those fun costumes. But when they do, they laugh and tease me. My skin grows hot. I don't feel strong or brave anymore. I want to leave. Oh, poor little guy. I would feel sad too if everyone was making fun of me. Mom takes me home and tucks me into bed. My head swims. You know, like the picture looks really dark and dreary, probably like how he is feeling right now. I toss and turn. I feel lost. I am drifting. It seems like all of a sudden his drifting isn't in his dreams. It's in real life. What is happening? I float in and out of hours or maybe days until I am cast upon an island. Everything looks unfamiliar. Is there no one here but me? How will I survive? on my own. I find water and something to eat. I just think these pictures are really amazing, these illustrations. I build a shelter to protect myself from storms and the hot sun. I figure out how to make clothes that are better for life on an island. His clothes look pretty familiar, don't you think? I think they kind of look like his costume for that party, don't you? Hmm. The animals here are kind. We become friends. They keep me company while I work. Now this picture, this illustration on these pages is amazing because it kind of shows everything he's doing on the island but it's all combined into one picture can you see it there we go it's 
really, really interesting. I like how they did that. I invite them to my table and we celebrate the harvest. I feel stronger now and brave. The island is my home. But I am always on the lookout for pirates. They are here. Quietly, I slip into the trees and hide. You can see their footprints right down here. Have they come to plunder and spoil? Will they try to hurt me? No, my friends want to play and hear more about Robinson Crusoe. I am happy to see them. It turns out it was all a dream. What? And together again, we set off on a new adventure. That looks like a fun adventure they're having. And that is it. Oh my goodness. I guess um, this is a true story. The author says, inspired from my boyhood. It came back to me when I found this photo of me dressed up as the brave adventurer for a costume contest at school. And you can see his costume. That's kind of cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story today. And I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.